Welcome to Dentamax. Today we'll take a look at a key features that every office should know about, lab case tracking. Dentamax is designed to help you stay organized. One of your top priorities is the schedule and the appointments you have on it. Do you ever find yourself wondering if a lab case is in so that you can bump a patient up to fill an opening on your schedule? With Dentamax, tracking that is easy. We'll start with looking at our scheduler at an appointment we have on the books for next week. This appointment is for William Grant, and you can see from my note here, he's coming in to have a crown seated on tooth number 14. Perhaps William Grant was on your ASAP list and requested a Monday or a Tuesday appointment as opposed to a Thursday appointment. If you want to be able to call William in to the office sooner because you had an opening become available, you need to know first if you've received his crown so that you can seat that. With Dentamax, you can see that just by looking at the scheduler. We'll start first by indicating that this appointment requires a lab case. So we can double click on the appointment and simply select lab case right here in this box. Just to the right, you notice there's a button that says no lab work. If we click that drop down menu, we have the option to create a new lab order or attach an existing lab order. If you choose create a new lab order, that'll take you to the same place as if you had chosen list and lab order list. Here we are ready to create a new lab order from your options menu. Click new lab order, select William's name from the chart numbers, and a description of what the lab case is that you're sending out. This could be something to the effect of PFM crown. The tooth number we said was number 14. You have a spot to hold your shade. You can choose which provider William is going to be seeing. And then here you choose which lab you're sending his case to. We're going to go ahead and send William's case to Smile Wide Dental Lab. This next section is where you attach this lab order to William's appointment. If you click the drop down menu, it'll show you all of William's possible appointments. This is going to be the July 17th appointment at 9 o'clock. The due date is the date that you want the case in by. I would think you'd want it in the day prior. This can also be whatever date the lab tells you that they'll get it back to you or based on their general delivery time. The receive date we're going to go ahead and leave blank for now. You do have an option to fill in the price that the lab will charge you and then any extra notes you want to include about this case you can go ahead and type here and save your changes. Now you can see in our lab orders that we have a lab order connected to William Grant for a PFM crown and if you look over to the right hand side you notice that this case has not been received yet. Now William's appointment has a gray brief case icon attached to it. That indicates that a lab case is expected in order to complete this appointment. At this point, if I were wondering whether or not to call William in sooner for his appointment, I could take a look here and notice that the case is still gray, which means it's an unreceived case. When William's lab case does come in, we can go back to that lab order list, find his lab order, select edit lab order or double click on it, and then we can go ahead and mark the receive date. Perhaps we get it on the 14th. Once we marked it received and click save changes, we'll go back to our schedule, take a look at the 17th, and you'll be able to see that now William's lab case has turned green. Green, of course, means good to go. So at this point, if you still had an opening available and wanted to call William in sooner, you know that you have the necessary tools in your office in order to complete his appointment. If we go back and take a look at another schedule, you can see that Robert Johnson has a lab case as well, but his lab case is red. When the lab case is red, that indicates that the case was already due to be in your office, and at this point, it's past due. So that would indicate to me quickly at a glance, hey, I need to call that lab and find out where Robert's case is before I call and confirm his appointment. So we're going to go back to the list menu go down to lab order list and take a look at these other cases. You can see here that Robert Johnson is the only case that has not been received. If you want to find out which lab that went to, you can simply edit the lab order. By clicking the drop down menu, you can see the phone number to Smile Wide Dental Lab, pick up the phone and give them a call. Another nice feature about the lab orders is that you can print these out and send them with your lab cases. I'm going to go ahead and select print. We'll choose our lab report, click OK, 
Your practice name is here at the top. It shows your phone number and address as well. It has the laboratory information, phone number, and perhaps a contact person. Your patient's chart number, name, and date of birth and clearly the date that that case is due by. If we scroll down a little bit further, you can see that this is for tooth number 28 to 30, shade B3. And if we print this out, we have a few other options that we can write on this lab slip. This is also a nice space saver if you just want to start using one type of lab slip for all of the different labs you work with. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and go back to the schedule. It's very easy to visually just check and see if you have what you need in order to be prepared for a patient's appointment and your lead assistant or your front office person can cut down some work writing cases down in a book. If you have further questions on how best to stay organized and efficient, please contact us at 1-800-704-8494. Thank you.